Morning my friends from Addis Ababa again from Addis Ababa but actually I am back in Addis Ababa well after the last video so I decided to stop uh, filming to not make any more uh, vlogs in Addis because filming is just too complicated here and after that then I flew back to France to have for uh, Christmas and New Year to buy some uh, much needed gear as well which I will show you later yeah, so I had a good time, of, it's, I had a good rest. It was good to refresh, especially mentally, because uh, long journeys like that are very, really exhausting mentally. And now I'm fresh again. Salam. No. No, I I'm filming myself. Okay. So that's exactly why, you know, I don't want to film in Addis, because the first person I met, I meet here, already complains because I'm filming. I don't know, it's crazy here. Really, really crazy. Well, the paranoia with the camera, I don't know <laughs> why they are that para paranoid, but that's the way it is. Anyway, yeah, so now the thing I, I just want to show you, because I'm leaving tomorrow, but I just want to show you where I hide my bike during the month and a, a month and one month and one week I went to France. So I just want to show you where I hide it. I need to retrieve my bike. And I have to repair because I have some spare parts from my uh, from my rack. I'll show you that. So let's go to the to retrieve the bicycle first. Yeah, and in the meantime, I forgot to tell you. Uh, before I was always uh, bragging because uh, most tourists when they arrive in Addis Ababa, m not most but many tourists, they lose their phone on the first day or very very fast because there are a lot of pickpockets. And I was very proud because. I had been three times in Addis, never been rowed before, but uh, well, it finally happened to me. So on the day of the final of the World Cup, uh, yeah, I was attacked by a, a professional pickpocket. He spit on me, and I don't know, I misinterpreted the, the act. I got a bit angry, even though I, I knew it was, he made it on purpose, but uh, I didn't think it was to rob me. I thought it was for something else. He was very good, it was amazing basically. He spit on me, I was looking at my crotch all the time because I had like big uh, things here and here. And I was uh, looking here all the time and had my hand in my pocket. And had here I had my wallet and here I had my phone. And, and I was looking at all the time at here. And, but still, when I left the guy, and, and when, I left, when the guy left, my phone was gone. It was unbelievable. I mean, the skill was unbelievable. But I was quite lucky in the end because yeah, I was gonna buy a new phone three days later anyway, so the phone was broken, so, so the, the camera was broken, of the, the camera of the phone, and the phone was extremely slow, extremely old. So I was very lucky, it was kind of the best day to lose my phone. <laughs> anyway, I'm arriving at the hotel, where I left my, uh, my bike at this guest house pension. See if it's, ah, it's not open. Ah, come on. It's not open. Up and Oof. So you see, that's where my bike is. Okay. That's where the bike stayed for a month. Okay, we can take it out. Sorry, English. You help me. Okay, to go? Yeah, here, yeah. Oh, oh. I forgot something to ride it. Oh, shit. Thank you. 
So there's some spider webs, but it seems it, uh, it survived. Spider webs everywhere. So what I have basically is I have I, I bought a new rack, but I, I didn't bring it uh, all. So I'm just gonna replace this part, this side because this part is broken, and this piece also I'm gonna replace. So I'm just gonna replace the two broken pieces. Uh, when I ordered the rack, they made a mistake. I asked for the the light with the cable. With this cable, with this cable going somewhere here. And uh, they gave me the the rack, but without the cable. So I need to keep using this rack because otherwise I would have no more uh, light at the back. You see, there is a cable going out here, but uh, but uh, obviously I don't have it in my new rack. So that's why I'm gonna have to replace only part part of the rack. Bags. I have some bags there in this in this room. Yes. Ah, perfect. I'm a second there. Okay, I get out of this. Hey, Mr. Huh? Hey, camera. This camera. Huh? YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, this and uh, that's what I found. Ah, this, okay. Bike loaded. Let's see if it let's see if it still works. Looks good. Yeah, good. Very nice. Ah, it's been a while. I did not ah sit on the bike. It feels so good. I'm happy as soon as I sit here. Oh my god, this is extremely dirty. Okay, let's go. Bye bye. Okay, so I have to be extremely careful actually because uh, like I have one wheel which is uh, unscrewed somehow and I don't have the, the tools to screw it back. So I screwed it back with the key, uh, but I, I'm not going far, so hopefully it stays good. <laughs> This bike is amazing. It's unbelievable. I leave it for a month and something. I don't touch it for more than a month and a half. And I get back on it and it's like still as if it was new. And it feels so good to be back on the bike. Oh my God. Oh, it's so good. I love to sit on this thing. It's amazing. I love it. Ah, it's amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and here I arrive at my hotel. Uh, how do I get the bike inside? Can you make me some space? I'm a signal. Let's go. I'm a signal. Up and up. Yoo-hoo! Yes, that's my parking spot. Good, eh? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, put your, your feet here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's funny because the bike helps so much with the filming. Good. Eh? <laughs> This camera, yes. Okay, let's go up. I, I can carry it, it's okay. Eh? I can carry it, it's okay. No, 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 okay, okay, okay. Okay, he wants to carry it. So I'll show you what I, what I got, all the new gear I got, and then we need to, I need to work on the bike, clean it, clean the chain. Let's take it. Wait, wait, wait. I did not have money. Hey! Quadenia! I'll give him a tip uh, when I go down again. 
Sorry, I'm a little bit rusty for the vlogging, so I don't know how it's gonna uh, unfold, how it's gonna be. But uh, yeah, um, it's been a while I did not vlog. So, okay. So what do I got new to show you? I've got a new rain pant, because uh, in two or three months, it's gonna be the rainy season when I really reach southern Ethiopia and northern Kenya. So I need uh, rain pants because I will arrive into equatorial Africa. So very wet weather, so I need rain pants again. What else do I have? I had this. It's a Merino t-shirt. Uh, it's a present from my sister with my logo on the t-shirt. I repaired it already. I've got, I've got my tent. One of the poles was broken, so I got new poles and uh, a new chalk, shock cord. So I repaired my tent as well. So I should be able to use my tent again. That's great. I have a new, that's a new motorbike tarp. So that's a new motorbike tarp. Oh, it's in the packet. Uh, a new motorbike tarp because my tarp was uh, completely uh, was torn everywhere. I got my mother got me. She was worried about my safety, so she got me new yellow jackets to put on the bike, so to make sure the bike is visible. I got two new two new flags as well, um, and uh, a new. I will install that today. A new. and a new mast, so I will have two masts with flags to make sure I am, I am very visible. So that's for safety, that's good. I've got my golden scarab from Egypt. Uh, I've got a new shirt, but that's, that's a camouflage shirt for, for probably a, a second channel I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't know, I will probably launch it. I, probably around the same time as this video. I like to walk around cities, I like to, I'm a walker, so I like to walk, so I'm gonna start a, just a walking, a silent walking channel. Silent walks without uh, showing my, uh, my face, just uh, POV all the time and walks. I don't know if I'm gonna put interactions or not, it depends on the countries probably, but uh, at least just walks through like interesting areas of the, of the cities where I, where I pass by. Uh, yeah, so for those who would be interested uh, in this kind of, uh, of videos, uh, just silent walking videos uh, in, in cities, uh, well, I will uh, put you the link of my, of my channel, of the second channel I, I'm starting. So that's basically my camouflage shirt, so that's hopefully my uh, POV camera, which I put here. It's the GoPro, I put it here. Hopefully it's not too visible, even though I did one video already in Addis and it was already quite visible and people were like, camera, camera, camera. I've got a new GoPro. Well, it's already protected, but I've got the GoPro 11 now because uh, I think it's much better than the GoPro 9 I had. I've got some fancy sleeping mask. I like to sleep in the dark. I've got, of course, one new pannier because you see that's one pannier I left, this one is okay. But uh, so you see one small pannier because to replace this one that is broken as you see and it's not gonna last long. So I've got a new pannier as well. That was compulsory and that was impossible to find in Africa. I've got a second t-shirt with my logo on it, another present from my sister. Here I have the most important thing. I've got some also that I was missing that. I was missing the oil for the, um, to change the oil of my gearbox, which is, uh, I need to do it every 5,000 kilometers. So I've got two spare oils like that. This is a part of the rack that is broken. And I've got, of course, and got this. Okay. So that's what I have to do. It's time to go to repair the bike. A second hand.
This is broken. Look. Broken. So I have new one. Change. So I can work here, okay? Here? Okay, so. So you see that here that's the that's this cable that goes inside the rack and goes all the way to this light. And uh, well, when uh, when I ordered my uh, my new rack, I asked to have uh, the rack and the cable, but uh, they did not give me the cable. So that's why I have to keep the old rack. And I'm lucky because this part where there is the cable, this part is not broken, so I can reuse it. So I'm gonna keep this part and this upper part. I'm gonna replace this side and this part. So the first one is off, it's here, and now let's put the new one. Yes. You want to turn? Take this. You can turn. <laughs> so everybody is very interested in my bike here. Okay, so the rack is back on the bike. Uh, there's a little problem with the fact that I got a, a rack without the light, so I had to mix my new rack with the old rack. The problem is I think it's handmade, so it's not perfectly uh, symmetric and this screw cannot get in. So basically I have a weakness here, that it was uh, having a weakness here or having no light on the back. Hopefully it will be good. So now I'll just clean my chain because it's been a very long time I did not clean my chain. And that's all. And see you tomorrow for the departure, for the start of the way towards Kenya, but first towards the tribal areas of, south, of southern Ethiopia. Morning, my friends. Huh? Turn it off, why? <laughs> it's very funny in Addis, it's like always a problem to film. <laughs> what, what's the problem with... I, I'm filming myself, what's, what's your problem with, with that? You can't see. Huh? You can't see yourself. Okay, why? There is a law that says that in Ethiopia? What, what's your problem? Okay. So you see, uh, uh, some people don't want tourists here in Ethiopia. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, let's go. Okay, friend. Bye bye. Uh, it's a weird start. Uh, with this guy, you know, as soon as I switch on the camera, the guy is like, turn it off. Wow, it's insane, eh? I'm. I mean, without the camera, this is still fine. It's not as, as nice as, as it used to be, as I, I used to know the city, but it's still fine. But with the camera, it's absolutely horrible. Anyway, let's go. And let's resume the journey ah, to South Africa. So today I have uh, 80 something kilometers to a village called Tia, where there is a, an, archaeolo an important archaeological, well, a historically, historically important archaeological site. Yeah, 80 something kilometers and about 1,000 uh, and something meters uh, elevation gain during the day. So a lot of climbing, a good day to resume the cycling. Let's go, let's go to Tia on the way to the southern Ethiopia where I've never been actually, I'm gonna discover the tribal areas. Let's go guys! Hi, hi. Miguermo. Huh? I don't understand. Huh? I don't understand. Hi, hi. I'm a second Thank you. Ooh. 
As soon as I stop, I have to surround it. Let's go. Bye bye. I'm gonna store it uh, later on because uh, there are too many people around. And I am finally out of Addis. Woo! What a relief! Oh my god! Salamne! Dabo Santanu! Hayabir! Money, money! Money, money! Money, money! Money, money! Salamne! Huh? I want the Dabo! Tennis, tennis. Oh, you have it. Okay, can I have a. 25. This is one is 25? Yeah. Two. Uh, two. Okay, I get two. 50. 50. Yes. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, I got bread. Money, money. No money. 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 Why I give you money? Okay, bye. Bye. So I got bread because uh, for the first day actually, I'm probably not gonna eat in the restaurant uh, for lunch because uh, before going back to France, I was not able to. Salam. <laughs> Completely nuts. I had a guy like screaming like crazy uh, anyway yeah I was basically before I went back to France I was not able to digest injera anymore I, I love injera but I could not digest it anymore so for the first day cycling I will not take risks and I will eat uh, bread and I will wait a little bit in t before uh, eating injera again And the four years old shepherd. Salam. And I've got my first escort huh? of the day. Okay. Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> <sighs> okay, I need to... And I have an incident. Oh my god. And I, I still know the kids are not running after me. And I got this thing and went all the way up there. Oh shit. Okay, I need to check what's going on with my bike. 
Oh. That's okay. Where did that come from? Oh, from up. Oh my God. This part was here. Okay. I need to fix it and I can continue. Okay, so I put it back up here. I tighten it and hopefully that will do. Oh my God. Alam. What a beautiful country. Look at that. That's beautiful. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna take a break here and have uh, my lunch. I found some shade and there are uh, young uh, eucalyptus trees and I'm gonna have actually my last French meal. I brought some some cans from France to have a bit of uh, of luxury on this first day on the road. Ah, so I have some bread, Ethiopian bread, and a few fancy cans I got from from Christmas in France. You see, this is uh, something with made of sardines with olives. Looks really good. Uh, this is mousse de thon blanc au basilic, so it's a kind of uh, jelly made from from a uh, white tuna with basil and rillettes de macro. Mm. Wow, I got that uh, some uh, French thing. Yes, last French meal for uh, quite a long time and some good Ethiopian Ambasha. What do I start with? The white tuna thing. White tuna jelly with basil. That's how it looks. A bit of French food in Africa. Oh. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's heaven. That's so good. And let's have a second one. Uh, what do I have? I will get the, the sardines with olives. And I think two should be enough. That's how it looks. Oh, it's oily. Look at that, very oily. Mm. Mm. Oh, fantastic. It's mashed sardines with olives and olive oil. Awesome. Bye bye. Ciao. Goodbye. Ciao. Goodbye. 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 Ciao. Whew. Hello. 
Dale. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. My name is Eve. My name is Eve. 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 My name is Eve. My name is Eve. I love you so much. How are you? Good, I'm good. 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 I'm a big Amarik or Amarik. Good. 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 So it's been approximately 100 times they asked me I'm a how I am. I'm a scared. No, don't touch. No. Don't touch. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Good. Good. Good, good. Good, good. Up. 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 Good. Good. I am fine, thank you. I am fine, thank you. I am fine, thank you. Oh, I need to go. Good. 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 I am fine, thank you. I am fine. Huh? I love you so much. Good. 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 I have fun, thank you. I am fine, thank you. I have fun, thank you. Good. 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 I worry. Good. I have fun. Thank you. I am fine. Thank you. I have fun. Thank you. I have fun. Good. 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 Bye bye. Hello. Oh my god! Oh, I'm dead! Ah! Oh my knee! Oh, yeah. It's too much climbing uh, for a first day! Oh my god! Just three kilometers left! Almost there! Yes! Almost there for a successful first day! Oh, I'm dead! And there are a lot of huts now! You can see a lot of uh, traditional style uh, dwelling in this region. A lot of typical African huts. And it's quite insane also, there is agriculture everywhere. Look at that. All the yellow fields, it's all agriculture. So here I am, I made it to Tia. Ah, now I have to find a hotel. I think there is only one hotel. It's a very small town, as you see. That's the main street, basically. There are not many people, so it really shows it's uh, it's small. Oh, there is a fancy gas station. Wow, very fancy. Very nice. Ah, it's good to be back on the road. Well, it's hard. Oh my God, today was really hard, but uh, I'm happy. Salam, France. Yeah, let's find the hotel. 
and tomorrow morning we will visit the the site the small site the small uh, place that there is to visit here Alan. Tia Stele Hotel, I guess that's here. Uh, hotel is there, no? Hotel, there. Okay, that's a good Here or there? This one. Hotel no. Salam. Hotel no. Ah? Hotel no. Me, you know? France. Salam no. Hotel, yet no. There? Uh, yeah. Where is the hotel? Hotel there? Uh, here. Salamish. Hotel? Yes. Salam. Hotel? Hotel? Yes. Santo? Yes. Bullet? Meto? 200. Bullet? Meto? Can I, can I see? Uh, there is electricity? No, no. No electricity? And here there is electricity? Yes. Here, okay, oh, okay, okay. And uh, okay, and I can I can go in the restaurant for electricity. Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. So as you see, all my bags are in the room. Uh, it's almost like camping. I guess I'm gonna put something on top of it. I'm gonna sleep in my sleeping bag. And uh, yeah, very important tool in Ethiopia. It's the. Uh, Earplugs as well, because the cheap hotels like that, they often uh, have a restaurant and they do like uh, music, very loud music. And, and there is even shower, I'm quite happy. Well, oof. you're lucky you don't have the smell. So this is the common shower I'm gonna use uh, in five minutes. Uh, I think I, I, by mistake, I put some cream on the top of the arm, but not here for the morning. And, uh, well, I'm quite burned. <laughs> anyway, when I refresh with a shower, probably cold shower, put some cream and see you tomorrow, guys. <laughs>